Hello, this video we're going to get into creating a discrete headphone mix. So what we're going to do is start off with a, with a mix for the a headphone mix for the drummer. I've got a session here. It's relatively small, not too big. And I'm looking at the Pro Tools mix window. I'm going to select all of the tracks in the session with the exception of the master fader. So I'm going to option click uh, on a Mac or alt click on a PC to select all of the tracks. And then I'm going to command click and deselect master fader. And I want uh, this headphone mix to include all of the tracks in the session, so uh, if, except for the master. So I've uh, selected them all, and I'm going to hold down the Shift Option keys for Mac or Shift Alt for a PC, and I'm going to create a send on one of the sends. And for whatever reason, it doesn't matter which send you use. I tend to choose the the bottom send of A through E. I'll typically use send A and B for reverbs and delays and that sort of thing. Um, or I could potentially, if I need more sends, I could open up the second set of five sends. Let's do that. We'll put all the headphone mixes on the second bank of five sends. So I'm going to choose send F. I'm going to hold shift option and I'm going to create a send going to output three and four. Right, that's another available analog output. Now, this requires that you have an audio interface with more than two outputs. Remember, the first two outputs for your for your audio interface are going to your speakers. We can't use those for your headphone mix. That's what you're listening to in the control room. So I've set this send to go to output three and four on my audio interface. And I have sent those two channels to, uh, you know, with physical cables to a headphone amp in the uh, the drummer's um, near vicinity so that they have volume he, he or she has volume control all right so um, I've created the send it's going out output three and four and I'm gonna expand that view so that I can see the small faders of that send so I'm gonna go to view expanded sends and send F that's where I created this send and now I'm looking at the small mini fader view or expanded send view for uh, that send that I just created. And you'll notice that by default, all of the send volume levels are all the way down. They're all the way off. And all of the pans are straight up in the middle for mono channels and the stereo channels are panned hard left and right. That's fine. I want to use the mix that I've created for myself in the control room, which you can see down here, all of the volume levels and the panning. I want to use that as the starting point for these headphone mixes that I'm going to create for, um, first of all, the drummer. So I've got all of those tracks selected. I've got my send created across all tracks and I'm going to go to the edit menu and in Pro Tools standard software you're going to find this option copy to send in the edit menu, the main edit menu. In Pro Tools Ultimate, you're going to find it where you see it here in the automation sub menu under the edit menu. So Pro Tools standard edit menu, copy to send, Pro Tools Ultimate edit menu, automation, copy to send. And it's gonna pull up this small window here. And this will allow me to basically copy the uh, mix that I've created in my control room, the main faders and pans to my headphone mix, right? So I want this mix to include pan and volume, mute and LFE I'm not too concerned with, but this headphone mix lives on send F, so I'm gonna select that. Now, take a look at the, the volume levels of the, you know, the main volume levels of the tracks and the sends. Now keep an eye on the sends volume level and pans, and I'm gonna click OK. And now we have create reproduced that mix to to the uh, to the sends. I need to do a couple more things here though. I need to make these sends pre-fader. And what that means is, is that any volume changes I make on the main volume 
will not impact the headphone mix going to, in this case, the drummer, right? I want these, th these two mixes, my control room mix and the headphone mix to be completely discrete so that I can change one without impacting the other. And to do that, I need to set all of these sends to be pre-fader, and that's what this little P button is on each one of the sends. I could go through and select each one manually, but since all of these tracks are selected already, I'm gonna hold down Shift Option on a Mac or Shift Alt on a PC and click this little P button here, uh, and that's gonna make all of these sends pre-fader. Now, what that means is I can adjust the volume that I'm listening to in the control room, and it's not going to impact the, uh, the headphone mix that I've created. Now, once this mix is created, I can kind of, you know, dial it up. I can, um, customize it based on what the, the drummer wants to, to hear. So I might uh, turn the click up, I might uh, you know bring vocals down a little bit, whatever uh, the drummer wants to hear, I can totally customize that and that's uh, gonna be perfect for what they want. Now, I'm gonna do it, uh, reproduce this, I'm gonna do the same thing for the vocalist, right? Okay, so I'm gonna go up here to the view menu and I'm going to reduce or um, get that send F out of expanded view. And I need to create a, another send using another pair of outputs. Now, I'm creating stereo headphone mixes. You could create mono headphone mixes as well, but I'm creating stereo. So I've got all of the tracks in the session selected with the exception of the master fader. These are all the tracks that I want to include in this headphone mix. I'm gonna hold Shift Option on a Mac, shift alt on a PC, and I'm going to create another send. I'm gonna use the next available send. We'll go to send G, and I'm going to choose output five and six. We used three and four for the drummer's headphone, and of course, output one and two is my speakers here. So I'm gonna use five and six, and this is gonna be the vocalist um, headphone mix. You know what I forgot to do for the drummer is, is name it. So I'm gonna right click on the drummer's headphone mix and rename it, and I'm gonna call it uh, Drums uh, Cans, uh, Headphone, HP, Drums HP. And then for this next output send that I just created for the vocalist, I'm gonna rename it um, Vox Headphones, HP. Okay, and I wanna expand that, uh, expand that view, I wanna see the larger, uh, view for the send, so I'm gonna to go to view menu, expanded sends, and I created that on send G. And once again, all of the levels are down, that's the way they are created by default when you create a new send. And in this case, uh, I'm gonna use this uh, control room mix that I've created, I've kind of ballparked everything in, it sounds good the way I like it right now. I'm going to copy this mix, the control room mix, up to this send, just like we did for the drums. So I will go to edit menu, automation, copy to send. Copy to send is your friend. All right, in this case, I want to send this to send G. And again, keep an eye on the main mix and the pans. Mental snapshot there. Now keep an eye on the sends uh, for the vocal headphones. Pop, there it is. We've just pasted that mix up there. And again, I need to make this mix pre-fader. So I'm going to hold down Shift Option and click on P and it's gonna make all of those sends on the selected tracks pre-fader. And in this case, I don't want the click. The vocalist doesn't need the click, so I could either mute that or take the volume down, and maybe the drums will come down a little bit. Maybe we'll bring bass up and piano up a little bit, and more reverb, more reverb for the vocalists in the headphone mix for the uh, vocalist. Now, I could continue to do this. Uh, we have 10 sends per track in Pro Tools. Um, I've used two of them, one for the drummer's mix, uh, headphone mix, and another for the vocal headphone mix. And of course, you might use another send for uh, reverb and delays, et cetera, but you can create uh, you know, several more discrete headphone mixes. I might create another one that goes to the guitar player and the keyboard player, and they could share the same mix, or maybe they want a discrete mix. We can do this 
uh, quite effectively. Only thing that you have to keep in mind is your audio interface has to have enough analog outputs to be able to um, you know, feed these headphone mixes to your, to your players in the band. Hopefully this helps. Thanks. See you next time. Here's a small demonstration on the difference between pre and post fader sends. You have the ability to switch any one of the 10 sends per track to be pre fader or post fader, which means that send is going to get its audio before pre fader or after the fader, post fader. So in this example, we've got the drums headphone send A and we have the vocal headphones send B. I'll just set them up like this. So you can see the floating version of those two sends. Um, we're gonna make one of them pre, the drums headphone mix is gonna be pre-fader and the uh, vocal headphone mix is gonna be post-fader. Normally for headphone mixes, you'd want them all to be pre-fader, but so we can show you the difference here. Um, we'll set the levels of the sends at unity gain and we'll play back. Now, as I change the volume of the uh, fader, change the level of the fader on the track, the main fader, you'll see that it impacts those sends differently. So if I take the volume all the way down, the send to the drums, which is pre-fader, is still outputting audio to the drummer's headphone mix. The vocal headphone mix, however, which is post-fader, is not getting any audio because the main volume uh, fader on the track is all the way down. It's not passing any audio. So this is a good example of pre-fader to the drums headphone mix and post-fader to the vocal headphone mix right now. Now, normally I would want them both to be pre-fader so that I can adjust the volume that I'm hearing in my uh, speakers, my control room speakers, and I can change the levels of the headphone mixes in, uh, independently or discreetly. So in this case, I've got my control room mix. It's totally unaffected by the sends. And of course, the head, two headphone mixes that, that are both set to pre-fader are discrete mixes as well.